And now, then I began to question, if I don't know what I want, is that a cover for believing that I really can't have what I want? Is it? I don't know. That's right. I'm trying I don't to. Know. <laughs> I don't know. So do you ever surrender the I don't know? Because you're talking about a different I don't know. It's more like I'm, a con I'm confused. I don't know where to turn. I really don't know what I want, so I'm lost. It's not a surrendered, I don't know. Like I'm waiting. It's almost like you don't expect ever to know. Well, that could be it. I don't expect ever to know. So why don't you, why don't you surrender that? I love you, self, that I am. And I'm sorry, I never expect to know what's right for me. <laughs> when I grow up. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up or where I want to live or any of that. Please help me. That's exactly how I've Give lived. Yeah. Give me a clue. Yeah. <laughs> a yeah. sign. They call it. I want arrows. Yes. Flashing arrows. Yes. Yeah. So I could go the other way. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> and then my pattern is I don't take action, and then action has to be taken under pressure. Yes. Yeah. All right, I know what to do. You just told me. I love you. You listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of your head. Listen. I love you so that I am, and don't ever tell me what to do. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Why not? I don't ever want to be told what to do. Because I hate being told what to do. That's why I'm saying it. By other people. Okay, I not love by you your own head. Mm, I didn't look at it that way. Your own head is keeping you locked in too. You know. Confusion. Okay. So I love yourself that I am. And I'm sorry that I hate being told what to do. Please forgive me for... Wanting to hold on to this position. Please forgive me for wanting to hold on to this position. Um, that actually makes, yeah, that resonates because I've been wondering what this position is. It's really deep down here. It gets very, very tight and then it can explode. I love you self that I am, and I'm sorry that it scares me to move. I love you self that I am, and I'm sorry that it scares me to move. Please forgive me for believing this. Please forgive me for believing this. And holding on to it. Yeah, and holding on to it very strongly. I've been really feeling um, with all the unrest and anger that's in the world. That's, erupted I've been really feeling it inside of myself it's like that explosion that just wants to come out just like all those people and it's like there's a position there that I haven't been able to name but it's been holding on mm -hmm. so you could just say it exactly as you feel it you see mm -hmm. I'm sorry I feel that I will explode from the injustice 
or however, however you would say it. Unfairness and un injustice and it, when it affects me personally as well as what's happening out in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I love yourself that I am and I'm sorry that I feel I'm, I might explode or afraid to explode. With all the unfairness and injustice. Cruelty, yeah. I would do one, Margot, which says something like, I'm sorry that I want to explode. I love yourself that I am and that I'm sorry <clears throat> that I want to explode. Period. Please forgive me for wanting to explode. So you're diffusing it. Mm. Kind of like we have a fear of really expressing how angry we are, so we suppress it. Yes. You know, and then you can't move because you're using all your energy to keep the energy in. Because yes. if you do express it, what's going on to others could happen to you. Mm. Wrong timing, wrong place. Bye bye, Margot. So you're being contained. Yes, very much. Like a time bomb. And you can't move. You can't get in touch with what's natural for you, the natural flow of now I'm here and now I'm there and now I'm here and now I'm in my new house. And how did it happen? I didn't do anything really. I just kind of watched the whole process. But if I'm holding down a time bomb for all the injustice and the wrongness, I have no energy left to be me. I am exactly. obliterating myself. So I would just keep doing that. I'm sorry that I want to explode and I can't. Sorry, I want to explode and I can't, yeah. Please forgive me. Just all day long you could do that. You could defuse it, more of it. Okay. We have lifetimes of that. Mm -hmm. We've learned not to speak up. Look what happens when you do in the wrong place. And then, and then there's a whole tirade and then there's an overthrow of the balance. But look what we have to go through to do it. So here you're diffusing it in yourself so that you no longer have to waste all that extra energy to hold yourself back. That's freedom. When you defuse yourself, you're free to be yourself. And it has been bubbling up in certain situations at, at work and um, there's been consequences. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not pleasant either when it bubbles up. No, it isn't. No. Okay. Okay. Keep us informed. I will. Thank you, Stuart.